Eddie Murphy has a $200 million net worth and multiple homes, but his $20 million Beverly Hills estate features all the very best of the 90210. There's fun to be had in the cinema and bowling alley, and outside you'll find a pool fit for a king. Are you ready for a tour of Murphy's mega mansion? The famed comedian and actor has lived in this epic Californian home since the early 2000s. He purchased the 3.7-acre lot back in 2001 for $10 million. Then he started working with designers to build his dream house. By 2005, the North Beverly Park property was home to a massive mansion with opulent arched entrances, regal columns, and so many balconies. Now, the Beverly Hills abode is expected to be worth $20 million or more. In one of the home's entrance halls, an intricately designed door swings open to reveal a space that already looks like it belongs in a palace, and we barely even stepped inside. With almost 18,600 square feet of interior space, you're probably not surprised to find out that the home has two huge living rooms. Arched doorways welcome you to this first double living room. It features two cozy seating areas back to back, exposed wooden beams on the ceiling, which is a motif throughout the home, and it's complete with a fireplace and vintage chandelier. Nearby is a slightly smaller living room with another fireplace, rustic candlelit chandelier, and a tapestry wall hanging. Decorated with accents of royal red and decadent cream-colored seating, these rooms look opulent enough to suit even Prince Akeem. Just off of one of the sitting rooms is a bar. It's set on custom hardwood flooring with some comfy looking bar seating. The mansion's dining rooms also offer impressive seating where the Shrek star can enjoy his meals, like this rustic long wooden table. The second dining room has a different but equally regal seating, with a chandelier hanging low over a circular table with off-white chairs. With floor-to-ceiling windows and a mezzanine, the mansion's library was definitely built to impress. Murphy decorated it with leather chairs and a long wooden table. Do you think this is where he reads scripts and chooses which movie to sign on to next? Spiraling staircases lead us upstairs, where the home's 10 bedrooms are located. The master suite has a four-poster bed and sitting area. That door in the corner leads to the master bathroom, which has a washing basin in the center and a separate room for the shower. In total, the mansion has 17 bathrooms, including this one with a large tub and lantern-like chandelier. As for the guest rooms and children's rooms, they're decorated in different soft hues of color. Some have curtained entrances and unique chandeliers, while this one features tons of wood and a little climbing wall that leads to a secret loft space. You probably noticed that there aren't many televisions throughout the home, but that's all made up for in this massive home cinema. There are leather chairs with cup holders and movie theater lighting, while intricately painted walls and luxurious columns make the modern room match the rest of the mansion's lavish decor. Installing a luxury cinema usually costs upwards of $50,000. After a movie, Murphy and his family can always enjoy a game at their two-lane bowling alley. These rooms are also incredibly expensive. It likely costs the comedian $120,000 or more. The center of the home brings the outside inside with a giant skylight and plenty of plants. Another mezzanine is present here, turning the center space into a hub that brings the whole house together. And it's just a taste of the kind of luxury that awaits us outside the epic mansion. First off, there are multiple seating and dining areas surrounding the home on its many porches and balconies. This one even has its own fireplace. Luxurious fountains also decorate the home's exterior. But the pool has to be the main highlight. It's surrounded by lounge chairs and features a circular hot tub. Also found on the estate is a tennis court, a four-car garage, and this European-style rooftop lounge that looks like it's meant to be enjoyed on a relaxing vacation. But nope, Eddie Murphy gets to sit up here anytime he wants and enjoy the view. There's no doubt that Eddie Murphy's Beverly Hills pad is one of the most impressive celeb homes we've ever seen. But are his other homes just as nice? Let's compare. First, we have to mention that Eddie Murphy owns a private island. He reportedly spent $15 million in 2007 on a Bahamas island called Rooster Cay, though some publications say it's more commonly known as Long Cay. 
Either way, the island is 15 acres near Nassau and has the potential to become a popular tourist spot if Murphy ever decides to build a resort. As for his other homes, let's start with Bubble Hill in Englewood, New Jersey. Murphy's 1989 song Bubble Hill was based on this 25,000 square foot colonial home that he purchased in 1985 for $3.5 million. The house boasts a screening room, bowling alley, indoor pool, and recording studio. Despite him saying he'd live here until the end of time, he sold the home to Alicia Keys for $10 million in 2013. Next up is Eddie Murphy's Moroccan mansion. He bought this 20,000 square foot mansion from Cher for $5.9 million in 1988. It features a fish pond, large swimming pool, and a tennis court. After selling it for $4 million in 1995, the home's new owners did some serious renovations, and it's now worth close to $85 million. Murphy also once owned a farm. He purchased the 205-acre Clove Hills Farm in 1995 for $2.5 million. The Pacquag New York Estate features a 7-acre pond and an 8-stall horse barn, plus a games room and log cabin for guests. The actor finally sold the equestrian estate for $3.8 million in 2011 after originally listing it for $12.75 million. Last but not least is Murphy's former Granite Bay mansion with his ex-wife Nicole. The couple bought this 12,600 square foot home for an unknown sum in 1998. It features a giant pool and hot tub, winding staircases, and a full-size guest manor spanning over 5,000 square feet. After divorcing in 2006, they sold the home for $6.1 million. Let us know in the comments which of Murphy's mansions is your favorite. But what did Eddie Murphy's home look like before he got famous? The comedian's life actually began in public housing in Brooklyn, in this 16-story apartment building he calls Tilden Projects. But after rising to fame on Saturday Night Live, the comedian embarked on a stand-up and acting career, eventually earning himself a life of luxury. As of this video, Eddie Murphy is worth about $200 million, making him one of the richest comedians in the world. His movies have grossed nearly $7 billion at the worldwide box office, and during his career, he's earned over $300 million in salaries and back-end royalties. And he's not fading into obscurity anytime soon. In 2019, Netflix paid Murphy a whopping $70 million for a series of comedy specials. Eddie Murphy is undoubtedly one of the world's biggest stars, but do you know how much he makes per movie? He reportedly gets an incredible $20 million per film. For each movie he does, he could buy a brand new mansion as equally luxurious as his Beverly Hills Palace.